we call it the passportization tool. As a German company, we love the neologism, so I will explain later uh, why the passportization tool. So I would like to start off uh, by showing how the application works. First of all, we have created a 3D map of Azerbaijan, and we have implemented uh, the GIS map for the energy suppliers. And afterwards, there were questions on how to inventorize the all, whole assets as of, um, for example, the transformators or the um, electrical grids and lines. So that's why we came up with the idea of integrating the on-field data gathering um, platform. Uh, basically, all the surveyors, all the uh, workers of um, the electricity suppliers get the access to the application and they start gathering their information. As you can see on the um, phone shown, it's real-time data, it's uh, already existing, and you can uh, categorize the data, you can put the data uh, on the GIS map, and what's great about it, it's one ecosystem and it synchronizes directly with our uh, GIS viewer. So uh, without doing anything, uh, they already get the data directly when they input the data to the, um, to the system they're working with. For example, when the last uh, maintenance was made, when, um, when it has to be made the next time, and they get the live notifications about it. Um, exactly. And then I just uh, want to talk about the functionality of the app. Though first of all, uh, you, can, you have the same render on the desktop and on the mobile, and we don't limit ourselves on one application. It can be integrated into any GIS viewer, and you have the vector tiles, the raster tiles, uh, the SQL data, shape files, and it can be all exported also and uh, put manually, but we prefer it to synchronize with the cloud data. Um, the forms are uh, defined in a GIS-based based map, and you have the text, numbers, calendars, and uh, the booleans, the drop-downs, photos, the QR barcodes. You can actually take picture of every asset and uh, synchronize it with the, in the GIS map with the uh, direct location with on the XY uh, coordinate system on the map. And that's why the base of GIS map is very important to have the direct uh, position of the asset. Um, well, that's very easy to use. You just have to log in with your account, and then you can already start uh, with your project, uh, recording it, editing it, uh, the polygons, and it's uh, very easy to use uh, UI and UX. Um, a very important point where the GPS data isn't collected very well, you can also connect your external GPS device to have the direct point um, of the asset. Exactly. That's uh, one ecosystem which is synchronized with your database, with your media, and uh, you have the plugins to the JS map, and you have the data validation. You can show changes and reporting tool. You have the field work while splitting, for example, your field uh, snapping tool. The auto synchronization I was talking about, and uh, the stakeout and handling many pictures of uh, the same asset is also integrated into the system. 